you must have heard someone say hmm. that all hot guys are jerks are all pretty women are dumb right yeah nobody has called me a jerk but i know what you mean yeah. continue in fact many of you probably have actual experiences which cause you to believe this but what if i told you mm-hmm. that you are falling for a classic bias called berkson's paradox oh. and if you are not careful mm-hmm. it can impact you choosing the wrong surgeon for your surgery <gasps> or you know you getting depressed because you are not thinking about the world right oh no yeah. so <laughs> please go on this is actually quite interesting i didn't realize that uh, the bias had a name berkson's yes. paradox right. so let's start with all hot guys are jerks right yeah why are, is that really true why this is actually the lived experience of a lot of people mm-hmm. and i'll tell you why it happens right okay imagine a girl on a dating app okay right she is looking at guys mm-hmm. right and there are two categories of guys okay there are good looking guys and not good looking guys so swipe right and swipe left no the not good looking ones also if they have an interesting personality something that really stands out hmm. she's going to swipe okay right? the good looking guys have lower standards <laughs> <laughs> obviously okay but here is the thing okay does it necessarily mean that there are no good looking guys who also have good personality and things that stand out there must be right Yeah except there are two issues right yeah. one is that they probably don't even show up in her uh, app because you know they're all taken so quickly Ouch. or they're out of her league okay uh, right? give so us now, reality checks we can cash please <laughs> so now the situation is that there are four kinds of guys right, right. good looking and good personality okay. out of your league not even showing up in your app now you know imagine this hmm. as a 2 by 2 Okay. on one axis i have bad looking versus good looking guys hmm. and on the other axis i have good personality versus not so good okay right? the top right corner which is good looks and good personality are probably out of her league they don't even show up on her app true right true true then top left is good looking jerks yes she's swiping on those the top right bottom right is is the not good not looking not so good looking but people but excellent personality. personality which she's swiping on Which, and the bottom uh, left which is neither good looking nor good personality everybody really swipes good. left on those mm, right so the only people she is comparing hmm. are the good looking jerks and the okay looking smart people right now tell right. me what is she going to think yeah because right? this yeah. is a classic selection bias, bias right ah. this is the problem because the selection made it so that the statement is true but in the real life the statement is not really true Huh. You mentioned pretty women also along with good looking yes. guys. So there are in fact two explanations to that. Okay. One of them is huh. Berkson's paradox that we already talked about and the right. other is a more complex one, right? Okay. But let's assume no longer we are not dating, right? Just in the wide world okay. uh, in various roles some uh, Let's take the job market for example, market, right? Now, it is easy to imagine, right? Mm-hmm. That if somebody has reached a particular position, a woman you're saying. A woman. Ha. Huh. she's either there because she's extremely good at her job right and plain looking mm. or pretty women get promoted there even though they are not that good looking this sounds sexist but it's not well no it is sexist but the world is sexist and we'll do an entire episode on the this sounds sexist and it is yes but we'll do an episode on it we'll explain <laughs> yeah okay but yeah so that's the thing right there are pretty women who are also smart hmm. and they have probably gone way ahead they right. are not at the same position right, right. on this position hmm. are only the pretty dumb women and the smart plain looking ones i can hear keyboards being furiously typed away at but please no, continue no but no no there is a bigger nastier explanation okay, okay. um i once remember hearing hmm. a famous indian tv personality huh. saying that the producers huh. forced her to appear dumb on tv okay? oh yeah because that's what the audience wants yeah okay even if there isn't a producer breathing down your neck hmm. i know women who believe that if they behave extra intelligently it is threatening for the men around and yeah. so they play dumb Okay. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. Unfortunately, hmm. life sort of pushes you in that direction. Boxes you into. Boxes a, you in yeah. there. Yeah. Scary. Uh, and uh, 
I can't speak for the woman who was told by her producer to act in a certain way, but uh, in in media you are generally told to speak uh, to a level that your audience can understand. And when you take in consideration George Carlin's statement that uh, 50% of the world population has below average IQ because average mm. IQ is basically 50% of the world, mm. uh, then you do realize that there is some sense in what the producer was telling. I'm not trying to defend the producer. I'm not trying to. um accuse the woman but that's the yeah. way media no, works so the two reasons why we see this paradox hmm. is one is the selection effects hmm. and second is that there are people who are smart but they're pretending to not be smart because that's what the world is looking for okay so that basically means that uh not all hot guys are jokes not all pretty women are dumb hmm. and what does this say about various stereotypes actually a lot of interesting stereotypes are explained by berkson's paradox right okay so politicians are dumb <gasps> right? my favorite because hmm. dumb things politicians say hmm. are all over the news why the smart things they say are <laughs> not quotable <laughs> right yeah when you put it like that it suddenly makes sense correct movie stars have horrible personal lives you know why because the ones that have good personal lives are not in the media so it's either movie stars with horrible personal lives or people around you who are good personal lives but not movie stars right yeah, so, so you any have movie star whose off. personal life you don't know about is right. probably the good one <laughs> correct exactly <laughs> tech geeks lack social skills uh, right they don't they absolutely don't <laughs> the problem is that you know probably tech geeks with social skills are probably at a level where they don't hang out with you right yeah. <laughs> or you don't know realize that they are tech geeks what does this say about right? you navin right what does this say about you why are you hanging out with me <laughs> let's move on or what does that say right. about me yes. there we go hmm. elevate yourself people elevate yourself yeah. so ha huh. restaurants with good food have bad service right <laughs> again i mean it is kind of true because the restaurants with good food and good service soon become expensive and you can't afford to go there right somebody just watched so, the netflix special or the netflix series or whatever it is yeah. the bear but anyway this is all good light hearted banter right. uh, and good stereotype no, jokes no this affects real life important things really okay let's take healthcare healthcare right? that's serious imagine hmm. you go to a hospital ha huh. and you look at the patients there there okay. are the ones with heart attacks and there are smokers and okay. you try to figure out the correlation between them what do you think you will discover uh smokers have a higher percentage of heart attacks no if you do an analysis in the hospital you will see that the ones with the heart attacks ha huh. there are fewer smokers and amongst the population without heart attacks there are more smokers what Yes because again there is a selection you didn't take the whole population you just ah. took the ones who are in hospital right now Oh right right okay. because what has happened is one is that of course both smokers and heart attack there is a small fraction correct amongst the non heart attack people hmm. smoking makes you much more at risk for all other conditions right like right. Uh, diabetes and obesity and this and that and lung cancer and what not which means that in the non heart attack population you will see a much higher percentage of smoking ah okay right? okay right? so this is and in fact really this happens i mean somebody uh, publishes statistics without realizing that berkson paradox is happening it happened during covid i was okay? just thinking that yeah, yeah because there was a statistic hmm. saying that healthcare workers were at a lower risk for covid lower risk okay yes again similar problem because healthcare workers all of them were forced to take tests correct whereas in general population only those with symptoms were taking tests oh the so, risk in terms of the percentages that were calculated as a result of the data correct. but yeah if they had done their null hypothesis correctly correct. they would again null hypothesis is another hypothesis. episode we've yeah. done on this channel which you should yeah. definitely check out if they had uh, done their null hypothesis correctly the results would be a lot different is correct. what you're trying to say or in simpler terms if they had taken hmm. the entire population not right. just the ones who have appeared for tests right similarly hmm. people with booster dose hmm. were at higher risk of omicron reinfection this hmm. was an actual thing that was floating around 
Well, the one with higher infection risk are the ones taking the third dose, and the ones who, yeah. who aren't were not taking the third. So dose, there's right? a correlation, but it's in the opposite direction Correct. from what so is being perceived. So by the way, perceived. if you are like the statistics type and you are going to dig deeper into this, it is called collider bias. Okay. okay. So Very you good. look up that term, collider bias. Right. Fine. So Bergson's paradox has a huge impact on healthcare, and we should be uh, well, not cognizant. just healthcare, other important areas, simpler basic areas of life. Okay. okay. Let me take another example. Right. Okay. I have quite regularly heard in my career in the software industry that IITians are lazy jerks. <laughs> okay. And so that you shouldn't hire IITians. I may have contributed to that a little bit. I know <laughs> companies who refuse to hire IITians because Wait, really. I, because ITNs are lazy jerks. I thought that was just a rumor. No, no, lots of I know personally people. Right? Okay. Again, those people are falling for Bergson's paradox. Okay? Right. I mean, they might be right in not hiring ITNs, but that doesn't mean that ITNs are jerks or lazy at a higher percentage than the rest of the population. What is happening huh. is that the ITNs who are not lazy. Huh are not even applying for jobs to this company <laughs> right so they either get lazy iitians or hard working people from other company uh, <laughs> colleges right yes another one that you might have heard huh. is that you know college dropouts make really successful ceos right <laughs> bill gates mark zuckerberg right steve jobs steve jobs so the, the ceo of ceos Right. Again, sometimes. there is a selection bias here related to Bergson's paradox, right. which is that when a CEO huh. has completed college and has good grades and all that, nobody yeah. writes stories about them. Right? Yeah, if if yeah. the CEO is well educated, Correct. has a good degree, then you don't really have a think story. of mentioning Correct. it. There's another very interesting one huh. related to what we earlier talked about. Right? Hmm. We said that uh, uh, pretty women get. Uh, promoted right yeah doesn't apply only to pretty women oh. and some men get promoted and there now the Bergson's paradox applies very interestingly in reverse mutual fund managers okay okay you get to be a mutual fund manager huh. either because you are extremely good at picking stocks or you are good looking there is okay. research proving this okay of course the good looking guys also have to be good at picking stocks but they don't have to be as good as the plain ones okay as the a result step. there is actual research showing that if you look at mutual funds and if you look at performance the good looking guys have worse returns <laughs> all right the next time you pick the next time you are picking a mutual fund look for the manager and search for what they look like on images <laughs> but, i feel so stupid actually recommending I mean, this these these seem like um you know corner cases yeah but think of the following that ai hmm. is now going to make more and more decisions in your life oh wow yes and the data that has been provided to the ai the training data is very likely to have similar selection effects so the ai is probably going to suffer from bergson's paradox okay this right? episode just went from a light hearted banter to a very serious dystopian oh, future we haven't gotten to the serious yet okay go on you are on instagram you are a teenager on instagram right okay what do you notice good looking people everywhere well and happy people and happy people everywhere yes. right so everyone on your insta is happy yes why is that happening because again similar kind of selection effect they don't put their sad moments on insta exactly yeah right and there is again way too much data showing that since 2012 depression and mental health issues have gone up do you know what happened in 2012 uh insta it acha insta i, I right? was thinking of the mayan calendar i mean you know, generally social media hmm. smartphones they rose and along with this uh insecurity rose amongst teenagers and a lot of it can be attributed to bergson's paradox right them not realizing that that what they are seeing is a selected incorrect sample you know what bothers right. me it is such an innocuous thing it is such a simple thing about stereotypes yeah. and once you start digging into it is when you realize the kind of massive effects it has on well, no you don't realize okay the yeah. problem is well. that your system 2 brain realizes this and but the system 1 brain 
still sees the pretty pictures on Instagram and gets unhappy. Okay, yeah. it's very difficult for you to logically and rationally convince yourself to not get unhappy, right? But you should try because you are comparing hmm. your behind the scenes to their highlights reel of life. <laughs> Naveen, the Bollywood uh, director, producer, actor, whatever you want to call him. No, but see, same thing. If you look at couples, hmm. right? It will seem that other couples are happier than you because you are seeing your inside and they're only the outside story, right? Yeah. The friendship paradox, right? What is a friendship paradox? If you count, huh. take a list of all your friends huh. and how many friends they have, huh. hmm, and do an average you will find that you have fewer friends than average. Okay. This is true no matter what you do. You do it in your Facebook friends, you do it in your real life friends, you do it in anything, you'll find that your friends on an average have more friends than you. And I can say this without even knowing you. It is true for all of these people sitting here. Do you know why? Why? Because there, in your set of friends, there will be a few who, who have lots of friends. Yeah, and that And they mess the up the average. Yeah. Right. So now in your set of friends, everybody is below average because of those few people. By the way, this is a power law. Check out our episode on power law. So okay. many episodes we are referencing here. Give them That's a break, good. man. Okay. Tell, okay, now tell me how do I deal with Bergson's paradox in my life because you've so depressed some, me. Some simple rules. Please. Right. This is uh, this example comes from NN Taleb. Nasim okay. Nicholas Taleb. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's called Taleb surgeon. Right. So oh, okay. Surgeon. So when you are going for surgery huh. and you have the choice between two surgeons who roughly have the same reputation, right? They're so considered to be equally good. Hmm. But one of them is good looking, well dressed, sharp, well spoken, looks like a successful surgeon. Yeah. And the other guy. So basically one is, of them looks like George Clooney from ER. Yes. And the other guy looks like a butcher. Right? Which one should other guy looks like me? Everyone instinctively is going to pick the George Clooney, right? But you should pick the butcher. Do you know why? Because if kidding. their reputations are equal, huh? that means that the butcher had to work harder to reach the same reputation. He's a better surgeon. Same as the fund manager that you were explaining a little while ago. Oh, Correct. Right? Taleb surgeon. Interesting. Right? Hmm. Whenever there are two equal choices, right, that look equal, but in terms of charisma, one is lower. Pick the uncharismatic one. Right? Hold on. Like this can't be right every time, right? Because the, uh, the good while, no, the good looking ones might argue that uh, they have had to work despite their good looks. Mm, that's bullshit. Okay, we'll do an entire episode on that. Okay. But this is wrong in a different way. Okay. Okay. Now again, imagine going back to the dating app, uh, right? It is possible uh, that there is an actual causal connection between them. In that, right. you know, hot guy being a jerk is actually caused by him the being hot a hot guy. guy being, right? yeah. Why? Because he can get away being a jerk. Yeah. Right? So in that case, then Bergson's paradox doesn't apply because if the attribute A is causing attribute B, then yeah, of because course. Bergson's paradox is about correlation, not exactly, causation. The right. moment you bring in causation ceases to exist. Correct. Right. right. So, so no collateral bias there. Remember that. Yeah. Hmm. But keep in mind these two things and make use this to make decisions. If there is no causal connection, hmm. then you know how to choose. All right. So the thing to remember here is check for causality and stuff like that. And don't yes. be fooled by stuff that could be random. Yes. In fact, the more general principle here hmm. is that we can get fooled by statistics. We can get fooled by randomness. You should check out our episode hmm. on luck versus survivorship bias. Shrikant Naveen, Thank Future you. IQ.